Xylecom friends. So today I'm going to tell you about the XCP system, which stands for Extension Cone Paralleling. And we are going to go through what it takes to take a full mouth series, which is a total of 18 radiographs. And sometimes it can be 20 radiographs if you need to take vertical bite wings. So each thing is color coded. The yellow is going to be for uh, posterior periapical radiographs. Then the blue is going to be for anterior periapical radiographs. The red will be for your vertical and horizontal bite winks. And the snap array is used for when you have a pedal patient, someone with tori, or a gagger. And when you use this, you're going to use the bisecting technique versus the XCP technique, which we are using for these other three. So let's start going through them. The first x-ray that Dexis is going to want you to take is for the upper right. And uh, you're lucky because X, the, uh, sorry, Dexis tells you which teeth they want to take a picture of. So it works well, like it tells you one, two, three, and then um, you'll know which to get. So first off, you have your bite block, your bar, and your ring. So with the bite block, you take it and you insert the bar on the right side as such. And notice that the bar does have yellow on it, so it kind of tells you where to go. And then you're going to take the ring, and the wrong way to put it in is this way when you're taking this for x-ray, because if you notice, the bite block just is not centered through the ring. So you would get cone cutting because this would turn up in your x-ray. So obviously you do not want this. So you're going to flip it around and hold it like this. So now you can see that the bite block is through the center. And the little trick that I like to use is notice that on this side it's kind of weird and then on this side there's like a perfect square. So when it's when the bar is on the right, that perfect square is going to go through on this side. So um, the next thing you're going to do is take the receptor, or the sensor. The sensor has a pr protective sleeve that you're going to put over it. And you stick the receptor in through the back like so. And then it's going to slip into the notches. And then the wire comes out through this side. So now you can see the wire isn't really in the way of the notches, so this will stay stable inside. And notice that the wire goes on the side with the bar. This always, always, always occurs. Otherwise, the, it's going to cross over and you're going to get the wire in the picture and nothing that you would want. So again, this is for your upper right. So when you take the x-ray, you have the patient bite down over here. You're taking a picture of the upper right. Then you're going to flip it and you're going to get a picture of the lower left. And then there's three easy steps for when you need to take the next set of the upper left and the lower right. The first step is detach the bar and flip it to the left side because that's what we're concentrating on now. And then notice the ring is in the wrong place, so you're going to take it off and flip it over to that weird side. And now it goes in the center. And the last thing is you're going to take the receptor and, oops, sorry. Um, take the receptor and you don't have to completely remove it out but just flip it so now the receptor wire is on the side of the bar because remember I told you that's always needed perfect so with this you take two four six eight radiographs and remember there's 18 in total so we still have 10 to go so now we're going to take this out and slip it back through and be careful because this sensor costs ten thousand dollars so you don't want to drop it or crush the wire or anything like that and your next set remember blue is for the anterior periapicals so you take the bite block stick this on the right side and then you take this you have the square part the square goes through here and stick this in from behind again, push this through, stick it in the notches, and now you have your, um, it goes through the center and you have your anterior periapicals ready to be taken. So you're going to take three in the maxillary, 
you'll have one for each canine and its surrounding teeth and then one for the central incisors and then you're going to flip it around and take uh, three for the mandibular again two on the canines and one in the centrals if your patient has tori or is a gagger because this is so big um, your choice would be the snap array slash alligator whatever floats your boat and we will go into that in a minute so now you're going to take this out and stick that through here now we're done with this and then your next order of business is going to be the bite wings so the key with this is that you're going to stick the bar in over here so that this kind of looks like a wing that's coming out and as opposed to if you had flipped it um, that's incorrect because the wing would be coming towards you and you can't put that in the patient's mouth to take the proper radiograph so again stick that out so the wing comes out flares out and then you're gonna stick your ring in again with the square and now it's in the center and then you're going to stick this in like hold on I always mess this up no not that way like so and remember the wire goes with the bar and now the patient will bite down in here and that'll be perfect but if you have a patient that has periodontal disease you would use the vertical because they have bone loss and recession and whatnot and the vertical would capture more for the particular teeth so this one you would take off and, uh, hold on, and stick this in and then you would stick the receptor in here um, and then you can take your vertical bite wings so there will be two on the right and two on the left and so now you have eight from here six from here that's 14 plus another four that's your 18 and then again you might have 20 if you need to take those vertical bite wings lastly um, we have the snap array so again the snap array is used for pedo patients for patients with tori or for gaggers and that one um, is, you would use the bisecting technique as opposed to the XCP technique. So the key for this is to remember big means buckle. So this is going to be the buckle side and the flat portion of the receptor faces that buckle side. So when you're taking the bite wing, this needs to be in the middle. So when we open this up a little bit, this will go in the middle as so, and you're gonna kind of hold that in, it's a little tricky, and this will come up and snap, hence snap array, over. And then you can stick this in the patient's mouth, right, like that, and be able to take a bite wing. If you need to take a periapical because that patient's a gagger or whatever it might be, you just kind of push this down a little bit and um, now you have more space to take that periapical. So that's about it. Happy studying with radiography and best of luck.